Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Honest, baby. Why won't Kevin go somewhere, sit down, and live his life? The reason why he can't do that is because he is a sorry, good-for-nothing loser. Who does that? Have a baby out of wedlock when they're still married, has an affair with this woman, then try to spend all the women's money that she helped make. Or I should say, she made it, okay? She made it her own. He may have came up with some of the ideas for a little showstoppers here and there. But come on. Wendy has had enough of you living off of her. Kevin, she got issues with Wells Fargo, okay? She got issues with her money that she can't even get to. And personally speaking. And she thought that when she got married to you, it would be forever. Now you're trying to, you know, I don't know. You're setting a bad example for your son. Okay? Because he may start to treat women just like you treated your mom. You know they took the show. They stole the show for her. They pushed her out. And then tried to throw her purple hair away. She's looking so much disarrayed out there. She's not looking like herself. And then you go over here one day and make a almost hour-long video saying what the industry has done to you, what Delmar Mercury has done to you, what Wendy has done to you. But you're not blaming yourself, Kev. Yeah. You're not blaming yourself, nor your mistress. Okay? We ain't gonna even mention her name. We don't want to go there. Okay, if it wasn't her, it would have been somebody else. But do you remember when you made this video? You talked to your husband, why? You just did that in the third. I'm like, why are you wanting to live off your ex-wife's money, fame, and potential new business event? Okay, you talking about what? You planning a biopic? A biop on Wendy, your formal life? The one you once loved. I mean, I understand. When the love is gone, the love is gone. But ain't it time for you to make your own damn money? Is it time for you to make your own money on your own merits using you as the figurehead? Aren't you tired? What you need to be looking at is why haven't you married Sharina by now? I said her name. Yep. I don't want to say about it anyway. Kevin Hunter, you are a loser. Totally, totally loser. Unless anybody can come to me and give me undisputed proof that you had from then to now when it's best interest. Because right now it seems like only interest you're interested in is her money. That you got from a settlement or whatever. You still seem like you want more. You're not trying to come up on your own. Make your own thing. I mean, if you were supposed to get what you got, good. But guess what? Your money don't been held up, right? Your steady stream of income has been held up, right? So isn't that some good times out there? Or did your, your brain meet? your indulgence for the finer things that you need to get a job. Yeah. Be an entrepreneur if you must. But you need to get a job. It doesn't make any sense that you still want to capitalize off of your ex-wife name. Have you ever thought about she may not have wanted you to do a buy-off on her? 
because you can do one on yourself all day long. Keep it in the format of you're talking about how you made Wendy Williams, you know, the star she was, without you using any of her pictures, without really using her name. All that you need to say how I came up in showbiz, okay? And the dealings of what you had to do behind the scenes without actually throwing your ex wife Everybody and their mama wants to come out for Wendy. And some people, yes, they may have said that um, she started it and her karma is going to finish it. But then we can say that about ourselves. How many times have we been into something myself that we really should have said or we were just mad at the time and, and we went through some things and we said a lot of things, but we didn't want it to travel with us until the day we died. Okay? It's too much. You, you're too much, Gail. But anyway, we get this story from the source. And I couldn't even find nobody that would have a conversation with uh, me about you. That's how bright up in the street you are. And you need to make it more liquefied by getting yourself out your phone. Get yourself a job. Be a promoter. Do something. We don't want you to be doing nothing that's going to make Wendy look even worse than what she's doing out there right now. But anyway, we go to the uh, source, like I said, and we're going to read a little bit, and then we're going to move on. All right. It says, last month, Wendy Williams' ex-husband, Kevin Hunter, did an interview with the West Side Gazette about his life growing up and his life with Wendy. During the interview, he shared where he made mistakes by not forming his own production company. You probably made a mistake because you didn't have the money. You still not that messing with itches behind Wendy's back, okay? Probably when y'all was just dating one another. The Wendy's downfall in my book is when she was dressed as a Statue of Liberty. She saw something ungodly that we couldn't see. It was in the spiritual realm, I really believe. And she fell the hell out, okay? And that woman ain't been since. She ain't been right since then, okay? There's a lot of stress on her. A lot of things mentally going on with her. Okay? But you're making it worse by wanting to tell your side what you feel happened in y'all for the demise of you and uh, Wendy's marriage. We don't want to hear about that. We don't want to hear anything about you. Because you're still trying to eat off her. Off her back. And you remember Wendy repossessed that car that you used Wendy money to purchase for her. That's some bullshit right there. I get tired of men and women trying to come out of each other and get get the payday off instead of getting a job. I mean, you surprised her with the family, you surprised her with a child, then you surprised her with a divorce. Child, but she put you, she beat you to the point, and that's why you don't have nothing because you didn't value yourself enough, like you said, to start your own production company. And you would have been saying something showed up that, hey, you invested in the business and your ex-wife. But now, uh -uh, she got too many woes going on. But going back to the article, it says, Yo First, of all, Wendy was working for KISS Radio. It dissolved into Hot 97 with Wendy and only a few others were retained. But in that agreement, she didn't make money or she didn't make more money. A pay remained the same. I began to tell her how great she really was and how valuable she was in the media market. Since they weren't trying to pay her more, we set out to get her out of her contract. She had a two-year non-compete um, contract. Listen, Hot 97 had all the lawyers in the area on retainer and no entertainment lawyer would take our case. And we decided to hire a criminal lawyer that I knew to get out of a radio contract. It was fought I in the federal court, and if she didn't get out of that deal, you wouldn't have heard of her. But he fought and won her freedom from them. Not long after that, Wendy Field and a Fox Network Good Morning New York show, and the numbers were crazy. I knew then she could be a special at this. This was when I began managing her full time after going through a pilot for a TV show where she wouldn't been paired with where she would have been paired with a comedian Monique and a couple of other setups. We eventually landed with Dale Mark 
part three. Okay. Honestly, my biggest mistake was not forming our own production company and shopping our own show. You know, yo, I was intimidated by a world that I didn't know I could dominate. And that's all to it. Well, you know, it wasn't all to it, Kevin. But then you're saying, I, 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 not we, we, we. And so when you start saying, I, 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 you get in a bad situation where shit can go left. Things can blow up in your face. And you're not even the one that they came to see. You're more like the hype man. But you didn't understand or didn't play your position well. That's why you're in the situation that you are in. But Kevin, it's time to get off your funky behind. It's time for you to do things on your own. Create things of your own. Hell, promote your girlfriend, your mistress, your baby mama. Pimp her out like you try to do with it. Right now, you're looking like Ike Turner. That's the Tina Turner. And we saw how that played out, okay? She just got too damn tired to start fighting your ass. Maybe a window would have went outside. Okay, I ain't gonna say that, okay? But in my mind, I'm visualizing it. Y'all can get that visual, too. Okay, her doing some do work on her ex-husband. Maybe it would have brought him down a couple of notches and stopped trying to compare himself. Wendy was the star, not you. Not you, Kel. And that's all everybody wanted to come see. Wendy, we, we didn't care about you. We sure did. Not your big ass bald head. All self all self-absorbed into thyself. We don't give a shit. And if Sharina got any sense about herself, which she probably don't care, but she's living she's trying to live off you to live off Wendy. So she don't have to work and get some business by her own self. Okay, you should be developing your mistress, your girlfriend, your baby mama. That's who you should be taking a lot of interest in instead of looking back over your shoulder, okay, and trying to still reap the benefits from your first wife. All right? But it is. It's what it is. Uh, like I said, I, didn't, I couldn't even talk to anybody about it because nobody liked Kevin that I was going to. You know, I like where he was coming from. And I can see why. I can see why he still got his uh, ass on his shoulder. Instead of walking away, putting in some job uh, applications until he can get back on his seat. He'd rather be thrown out of his house or apartment uh, and any other thing they can throw him out, his vehicles, because he's sitting there waiting uh, impatiently for the um, judge to release Wendy's funds so he can go back to where he was once living after the lack of luxury of his ex-wife. But I ain't got no more, but y'all know I'll be back, and I'll see you next video.